Well, thank you for being here. Uh, we're here on a very important uh, topic, which is safety. Uh, at Metrolink, we have way too many accidents at grade crossings like the one behind us because, you know, we want people to be more observant, more careful. In the case of this location, we had an accident here where a car a truck stalled on the tracks uh, sometime before the train arrived, but nobody had called. We would like, please, to let people know if, if they see something on the tracks, call 911. Also, there are signs with a phone number on it uh, to call to get that train slowed down so that we don't have collisions. We're fortunate to have a number of elected offices here. Let me introduce uh, uh, Vickery Murphy from Senator Carol Liu's office. By the way, Senator Liu's been a big supporter for safety. We're really pleased to have her office here. Good morning. Um, just on behalf of Senator Liu, I'm really pleased to be able to be here, and I'm glad that our office had some involvement in the establishment of Rail Safety Month in 2009, I understand, and um, that you guys do such a great job with rail safety and, and putting this on every year, but also a continual message of trying to make a real difference. Um, our office, the Senator, would like to present this certificate to Metrolink on behalf of Rail Safety Month and just congratulate you for the outreach and the excellent job that Metrolink does and continues to do in saving lives and making such a difference for our community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you and, and, and please uh, thank the Senator for her ongoing help and assistance. It's been a pleasure working with her. Uh, we're fortunate to have uh, the person who runs the security department, the sheriff's department, uh, for Metrolink, and that's uh, Captain Andy Rosso. Andy? Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Today for uh, Rail Safety Month, we have 24 officers and deputy sheriffs from our, uh, not just the sheriff's department, but our partner agencies conducting railroad crossing enforcement operations in the San Fernando Valley here and another operation in the San Gabriel Valley. As the uh, National Transportation Safety Board has said, these enforcement operations, such as the one conducted today, have been shown to enhance safety at railroad crossings. So far today, th 34 citations have been written for various vehicle code violations, and the operation is still ongoing today. Metrolink deputies and the officers participating have noticed that many motorists and pedestrians alike were unaware of many of the laws relating to the railroad grade crossings. It is an important fact for motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists to remember a few safety tips when traveling in and around railroad crossings. You must stop at the limit line of a rail crossing when you see the lights flashing the gate arms moving or hear the warning device sounding, such as the bells. Never stop on the railroad tracks no matter what. Look both ways before crossing the railroad tracks. Ensure that there is room for your vehicle to clear the tracks prior to entering. Don't get stuck in gridlock. Many railroad crossings have multiple tracks, so it's always important to use caution and look carefully when near the railroad crossing. One accident is one accident too many. Obeying the law will help keep you and your family safe. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Captain. <clears throat> We're fortunate to have a number of uh, elected, elected officials here as well as uh, representatives. We have Sylvia Balin, who's a council member of the city of uh, San Fernando. Sylvia, come on over. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Would you like to say it? Yes, I would. <clears throat> I think I can give you personal insight into the uh, riding on Metrolink for over 15 years and the uh, horrible tragedies that we all experienced. Uh, I was standing uh, many times, too many times, waiting to exit on the uh, Selmar when, unfortunately, there was the crackling of bones and the uh, smell of flesh. I, I need to impress upon everyone the importance of safety. I hate to see that happen in any community to any person, and it, it's happened far too often, and I think particular along this, uh, this line. So if I could just impress upon everyone who's listening, 
please, please be very cautious. And I would like to make a recommendation that we're um, asking the public to call 911, but please put signage here that says call 911 if you're stuck on the tracks. So thank you very much and welcome to the city of San Fernando. We're happy to have you, have you here. Thank you very much. Um, it's a, a terrible thing to, to witness. Uh, Brian Seiki is here, our city manager. Brian, thank you for being here. We have Kenny LaSalle from Congressman uh, Cardenas office. In the back there, thank you. Uh, we have uh, Ricardo Benitez here from Assemblywoman Lopez's office. So thank you guys for being here. Um, let me now introduce uh, Nancy Sheehan who is a safety coordinator, operational lifesaver. Sylvia. Thank you very much, Mr. Leahy. And thank you to Metrolink for putting together this incredible campaign to do outreach and, and promote the message that we see on the ENS signs. The ENS sign is an emergency notification sign that when you are at a crossing, it's like having a house address. You dial the number on that sign, give them the six digit number with the letter, and they can locate that crossing immediately. So if you can't locate it, then you would call 911. But if you have an opportunity and can locate that sign, that's an important sign to be aware of. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. So over the past five years, there have been 667 grain crossing incidents, resulting in 151 fatalities with 423 injuries. Sure, I can. Over the past five years, there has been 667 grade crossing incidents with 151 fatalities and 423 injuries. During that same time frame, there were 614 trespass casualties, resulting in 346 fatalities and 245 injuries. The total number of fatalities with both grade crossing and trespass was 497. That is 497 too many. In 2009, the state legislature proclaimed September as Rail Safety Month, presenting this proclamation to California Operation Lifesaver and recognizing our mission and the need to enhance our efforts and our rail safety partners' efforts to educate and grow rail safety awareness. That is statewide. And, and I'm happy to answer that afterward as well. As a nonprofit rail safety educational awareness and educational organization, California Operation Lifesaver, along with Operation Lifesaver Inc. national organization, is dedicated to ending collisions and fatalities at railroad rights of way and along grade crossings. California Operation Lifesaver works throughout the year growing rail safety education throughout the state. September Rail Safety Month provides us with an opportunity to shine a light on the need for community involvement to help raise awareness and save lives. It is through proactive participation like Metrolink's participation, emphasizing the need to make good decisions around railroad tracks that we are able to enhance our efforts. Together, we can heighten the message to communities across California about the need to obey the signs and signals and laws at grade crossings and along railroad tracks. Every three hours, a person in, in a vehicle or on the, on the tracks is hit by a train in the United States. California ranks number one in trespass casualties and number two in grade crossing incidents. We rank number one in fatalities for both trespass and grade cross. These are statistics that we have to change. It will take our rail safety education, working with our rail safety partners, and getting communities involved to work together to change the daily dangerous behavior at railroad tracks across the state. It is drawing attention to rail safety and educating the public about signs like the ENS sign, the emergency notification system sign, that will help the public be informed and learn to be proactive in helping save lives. We have some key safety tips that I can add to the Sheriff's Department. Cross safely. 
The only safe place to cross, cross railroad tracks is at a public crossing designated for public crossing. Expect a train to come at any time. Don't be distracted. We are too distracted in our society. Trains are quieter than you think. Don't expect to be able to hear one. Stay off, stay away, stay alive. Trains and cars don't mix. Never race a train to a crossing. Even if you tie, you lose. Walking or playing on rail around railroad tracks is trespassing. It is illegal and it's dangerous and it's not worth risking your life. By the time a locomotive engineer sees you, a vehicle or a person on the tracks, it may be too late. It can take a mile or more to stop a train. That's 18 football fields. If your vehicle gets stuck on the tracks, get out and get away from the tracks. Call the number on the ENS emergency notification system sign or call 911 if you cannot locate that sign. I leave you with our Rail Safety Month pledge, save lives, tell five. Take the C-Tracks Think Train message, tell your families, ask them to tell five and ask those five to tell five so that the message can grow. Help us grow rail safety awareness and save lives. If you see tracks, please always think train. For more information, you can reach us at www.caol.us or www.oli.org. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nancy. Those are, are grim statistics. So glad that you're here. You know, I, I want to just emphasize, people can't imagine how quickly that train comes on, on top of them. And it's just, it's a horrible thing to have happen. I want to just close by saying, you know, traveling on Metrolink is one of the safest ways to get around Southern California. I would invite folks to come out. If you haven't ridden it, you ought to try it. It's great. Um, Metrolink every day relieves the 5 north and south. It relieves the 60, the 91, the 10, the 134, the Hollywood Freeway, the 118. Come out and ride a train. Before we wrap up, uh, let me ask everybody who spoke to come on up so we could get a group photograph. Councilwoman? Thank you.